Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek, and today I have for you uh, a crossover video, which is kind of fun. We've got uh, some coins here that now obviously it's kind of hard to work it up too much when you're doing a crossover video because obviously you can kind of take a gander and see uh, that uh, we sent in four coins. We got four coins back. Now there is the question of whether or not any of them upgraded and uh, most of these we sent in for a customer of ours and uh, had a bunch of these old annex and I decided to throw one of mine in with them. And we're just gonna take a look and talk a little bit about the series of coins that are sent in here, this 18, uh, 1880 O Morgan dollar uh, annex graded 62 in the old holder and tricky, tricky coin uh, first of all, the eye appeal is really nice on the reverse, of course. And uh, 82 O's are so, or 80 O's uh, are, are really sneaky because, you know, mint state coins will be $100, $150, just a 61, 62. A 63 jumps all the way up to like 400 bucks. And a lot of that's because they just come scuffy. Um, for some reason, I don't know if, if the... Uh, carriage ride was particularly bad from New Orleans. But uh, 62, maintained the 62, but the goal here was to cross over. Uh, and you know, if you've seen any crossover videos, you know that uh, crossover percentages oftentimes are, uh, you know, 50% or less. And I think that this is what we call uh, grade wreckers. That's right, four for four. So we're wrecking the grades for you guys. All right, so this 1837 graded VF35. Uh, neat coin, a lot of, actually a lot of color to it. Um, and a little bit of some darker toning there at certain angles, but once you get it in the light, you'll see it's actually pretty nice. A little bit of a rotation there. Um, I was concerned on this one. I didn't, I didn't think this one would cross over partially because of the different color issues that you were running into on the coin. I thought maybe they'd call it like cleaned or something so they wouldn't cross it over. But uh, quite the rotation there from front to back and they did call it a VF35, they crossed it over as is. And these are coins come struck kind of flat. Uh, so it's a little bit hard to tell sometimes where, you, where your beginning point is. But I just kind of want to draw your attention to the fact that you know you can still see that clasp or button on the drape that's kind of a good indicator that you're in the nice middle grade still on that coin and on the back sometimes you know the the shield will come really really flat those stripes and lines so it can be also very difficult you'll see flatness in different areas so you kind of want to see if you can see any height to the coin and if you can see any luster I will say that uh, usually the luster is gone once you get to the very fine grades, but uh, overall this coin, uh, pretty nice. Not really any luster to it, I'd say, but uh, a nice coin. Uh, 1890 in MS63, once again, it looks like my buddy had picked up some stuff with uh, some nice eye appeal to it overall. 1890, also not a rare date in 63. It's probably a $100 coin or less. Uh, has a little bit of that gentle tone to it up here. But it has a lot of contact marks throughout the open fields. And I'd, I'd say it's pretty typical of a 63. Uh, you know, you have a lot of little contact marks on this side of the field here just kind of scattered. Everything has just a touch of PL to it on this coin. And uh, I think we were both hoping that this would actually get upgraded from a 63 to a 63 PL. Uh, it stayed 63, but you can see the proof-like nature to this coin overall. If they had like a uh, step down from a proof-like, like a, you know, almost proof-like, <laughs> about proof-like, the APL, I think that coin would make the list. And finally, I had to throw in one of my coins because uh, I happen to have my own little Annex old holder and the coin I thought was quite nice, 840 common date coin in, in 63. 
and you know overall this coin was I thought really pleasing had uh, some marks on the cheek there the field fine marks nothing too outlandish but a lot of little marks mixed in I really liked the toning on this coin just I, I kind of like the little gentle mottled toning I like the crisp blues at the periphery you know it just kind of has a look that I enjoy and then the reverse of the coin also was very pleasing 84 O's often come pretty flatly struck and you'll see pretty flat but you can still see all the feathers uh, gentle marks throughout uh, that gentle crisp toning also throughout the back so overall overall pretty cool pretty cool coin and we got an upgrade out of it actually of course the upgrade from a three to a four on a common date you know the upgrade just barely pays for uh, itself if at all but you know I just had to have my own coin in there because sometimes I feel left out all right guys thanks so much for watching I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.